Let's do some news! My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Today's date is October 8th, 2021. The time is 3.35 p.m. We are on time. We are on time today. Hello, chat. My lovely co-hosts, plural. And hello, YouTubes. Thank you for watching this late. You could have watched it on time. You could have watched it on time like the rest of us. Now the news is a day older now. In this day and age, that's it. I mean, it's already old. This stuff already happened. If it happened, it's old. You could have been here. YouTubes, you slipping. You slipping. So this week has been... It has been a week. Mike presents the olds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some olds. <laughs> yes. So uh, that was a moist. Uh, shut up. What the fuck? What the fuck, lack? Uh, so earlier this week, I guess we'll start at the beginning of this week. Uh, we may skip a couple big things that happened because they weren't quite as big as literally every part of Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. Oculus was down for the longest six hours in the history of six hour blocks. I thought it was down for an entire day. Apparently it was all of that. All of that that we all went through was in six hours. Six, no, not Oculus, not Oculus. So that's right. So there's, there was so much happening when it went down. Uh, so yeah, WhatsApp, you know, Facebook owns a lot of platforms. WhatsApp, which is a huge, huge, huge messaging service, especially in Latin America. It's like basically, it's basically messenger before Latin America. So it's huge. Okay. It's not, it's not something that maybe, you know, a couple of friends that use. Okay. It's like their number one form of communication. <laughs> and then Instagram, of course, we're all familiar with Instagram. Instagram just disappeared. Uh, Facebook literally disappeared, just completely disappeared. Um, and then, yeah, yes. Oh man, y'all, what y'all keep beating me to the joke, dude. What the fuck? Yes. Oculus users were trapped in VR. It was like the matrix. Or like Ready Player One, or like basically any any virtual simulation within a simulation thing. Billions of dollars lost. Billions of dollars. Fucking years, years of independent research into vaccines gone, gone. We could have had. You could have had a cure. You could have had a cure. There's so many veterinary medications out there that we could have stumbled across in that six hour time. The US economy was set back to 1834. <laughs> the matrix <ma> <laughs> the fall of Facebook. So there's there. So f first off, if you went to if you went to Facebook uh, during this time, it really did like disappear. It was like it was as if the site was like for sale, like just gone. Like a domain was not registered anywhere. Uh, and some of this may get into a little bit more technical, like a little more technical than what I'm comfortable with. So I'll just pretend like I know what I'm talking about by speaking with confidence, and that way you guys will just be like, oh, okay, and everybody will just nod their heads and just agree that that's what happened. Okay. So like some DNS shit happened, right? And then some other shit happened with some servers, and then that was it. Like, that was it. It was done. It was over. Down. So down. So down that they couldn't even get in their building. They actually went. They couldn't. You guys not. You guys not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they couldn't even get in the building because it was done. Now, in terms of, like, what the, uh, what the actual ultimate like issue was uh like and there was lots of early speculation people were 
People were getting in and just digging things out, trying to figure out what the fuck happened. Um, it says here that DNS and other services are down. It appears their BGP routes have been withdrawn from the internet. Cloudflare 1.1.1.1 started to see high failure in the last 20 minutes. Uh, and it says not only is Facebook services and apps down for this public, its internal tools and communication platforms, including Workplace, are all out as well. No one can do any work. Several people I've talked to said this is the equivalent of a snow day at the company. Um, Facebook building locks run on Facebook. <laughs> yep. Uh, Telegram reported uh, a record influx. Did they? I recognize some of these words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Explanation was so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Uh, I actually, it's I, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one, but like, I actually went to GoDaddy to see if they could secure the domain. They told me that it wasn't available, but they could see what they could do. So there was a chance. Should have put a bid in, man. Their own domain registrar was down. What was the ultimate, what was the ultimate, like, the why? Like, do we, do we know? It just says that it's coming back online. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg came on and he said that, he said it's online. Or things are coming back. Um, do we actually get like a good after? Let's say it was just, it was a, it was the had bad BGP configs. Oh, I was just gonna say that. Yeah. So like yeah. So it was a bad. It was a bad BGP configs, guys. Um, that's what the problem was. All right. So um, <laughs> didn't someone actually buy it? Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg bought it back. Uh, does Facebook also provide internet in some countries? I don't know about that actually. Um. Posted on his Facebook. You know what's funny is 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 how much communication goes through Twitter. Like most of the communication for all of this stuff happen on Twitter because typically Twitter is in competition with with uh, Facebook and Instagram, right? In terms of like communication, uh, it's, and and so like when those both go down, Twitter was just bumping. It was so busy when the BGP service stopped broadcasting. It was like a chain reaction. All were affected together. All were. Uh, sorry, yeah, 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 we're affected together. See, I was just, I was just gonna say thank you, thank you, Jordan. Um, I was getting there, uh, but um, no, I appreciate it. Um, basically, websites have to register their DNS sites and DNS with the DNS for providers, and they accidentally unregister themselves. Having done that, they no longer could log into their own service to fix the issue. How funny is that? Data center operators on every single DC Facebook owns uh, had to go physically access the servers. Uh, oh, yeah, for Telegram here, the Russian founder of Secure Telegram said on Tuesday that more than 70 million users have joined the app, the result of a massive outage that hit rival Facebook's app. Uh, and then, of course, yeah, the time that it gets to fix that probably takes a while. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it was it was an exciting it was exci an exciting start to the week, and we really felt like we really felt like okay, cool, this is great. You know, this is what it, how exciting, All right? Kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Uh, Facebook going down. Um, and then... So exciting. So exciting, yeah. It doesn't affect me in the slightest. In the slightest. And then... Then the big one happened. Twitch, hold my beer. Yes. <sighs> Somebody leaked Twitch. Like all of it, it was a, as Top put it, it was a, it was done eternally as it was a multi-prong attack. As Mazira says, shit's whack. As Jaregar said, Nelson laugh. Twitch plays Twitch. So, a post, a post shows up uh, on the 5th. Okay, what is today? Eight. So what was that then? Like Tuesday night or something like that, uh, on 4chan. And it says, "We bring to you today an extremely poggers leak. Twitch is an American video live streaming service that focuses on video game live streaming, including broadcast esports competitions operated by Twitch Interactive, a subsidiary of Amazon.com. Their community is also a disgusting toxic cesspool. So to foster more disruption and competition in the online video streaming space, we have completely pwned them. And in the part, in part one, are releasing the source code from almost six thousand internal git repositories including the entirety of twitch.tv with commit history going back to its early beginnings mobile desktop and video game console twitch clients various proprietary sdks and internal aws services used by twitch every other proprietary or sorry, every other property that twitch owns including igdb and curseforge an unreleased steam competitor for amazon game studios and Twitch sock internal red teaming uh, teaming tools. 
And he says, LOL, but frankly, I don't get it. Uh, but uh, if Bezos Pog is on BTD Frankers, <laughs> let me add it. <laughs> it was an inside job. Now, the day before this, there was there was uh, a congressional hearing, and I had a whistleblower from Facebook that was laying out how Facebook was only concerned with making money uh, above all, you know, above all else, including the safety of like our children and misinformation, and you'll keep misinformation from you know running around and all that shit. And so, and so, uh, not related, but for some reason, people thought that like Facebook went down. To like delete all this stuff for some reason, um, and and on Twitch's side, they just gave up the whole fucking website. So the information that we got, probably one of the biggest pieces of information that we got, uh, that was spread everywhere. I mean, obviously there's so many other repercussions to this, but uh, the uh, the biggest thing we got that we saw that, that we all everybody shared around was what uh, how much everybody was earning. So, and actually, uh, thank you to, thank you to, um, to an anonymous person. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they want me to say thank you to an anonymous person. Uh, uh, I went through the archive of this original thread that has fallen off, uh, fallen off the main, uh, 4chan page. Uh, but it's in the archives and I was going through and I was trying to figure out, I was like, what, what is like, like what, what are people on 4chan? Like what was the, what is the first concerns, right? And like, I mean, this one I think is pretty valid, valid here. It's like, how much money does Bob Ross get? And you know, I'm curious too. How much money does Bob Ross get? Well, we know how much money Bob Ross gets. <laughs> Bob Ross from September of 2019 until last month. So about two years worth, right? Um, the Bob Ross Foundation. Uh, he is ranked number 808, and he raked in a whole $222,000. 24-hour running show stream. And uh, just making that kind of bank. But we also have a list of other businesses that, uh, uh, how much they make. I don't want to call out individuals, okay? Because, well, except for myself. I'm on there. I'm ranked number 7,777. Right. Um, and of course, I went through and I looked up, I looked up some friends, allegedly looked up some friends, allegedly looked up some other people. Right. Just kind of allegedly going through and collecting some stuff. Seven, seven, seven. I can't I can't complain. I can't complain about that, honestly. Uh, but it was really cool to see, like, for example, Valorant. Valorant is ranked number uh, 420, which I think that's incorrect. Actually, it might be a typo. Uh, and they had 300. They, they made three hundred sixty seven thousand dollars, which is pretty great. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to compare that to like ESL, like CSGO, right? Because CSGO and uh, and Valorant, you know, they were kind of competing, right? Um, and uh, CSGO raked in two milli in that same amount of time. Uh, other ESL properties like SC2, StarCraft 2, you would think StarCraft 2, dead game, right? Nope. $413,000. StarCraft 2 makes more, makes twice as much money as what Bob Ross gets. <laughs> yes, that's right. It didn't move up. 775. Seven, 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 uh, Riot, uh, it was mislisted at $36 million at rank number 75. So I don't know which number is correct. <laughs> Are they ranked 75 with $36 million, which makes no sense? Or... Um, so a site was, was, uh, uh, was popped up pretty fast that allowed you to go through and pull up, um, basically to search listings for whoever you wanted to find out how much somebody makes. Right. Um, <clears throat> and I have an example of it because the site is down, but here's an example of what it looked like, uh, with obviously sensitive information sorted, um, and we can see, like, you know, this is the way that it kind of laid things out. Now, the raw data was a little bit more difficult to handle. Like, the, um, for example, like, one, it was 128 gigabytes, first of all, the entire leak. 123 gigabytes, something like that. Um, just, like, one month's worth of of uh, payouts, I think it was, like, just September or something like that, was something, allegedly, was something like 60 or 70 megabytes. So, when you think about it in terms of, like, text, that's just basically numbers, Right, it's pretty much just numbers and and commas. That's it. Okay, sixty or seventy megabytes worth of 
numbers and commas is kind of a lot. Uh, so that's a lot of data. It was also compressed. Yeah, there you go. It was also compressed. The payment data was around five gigabytes. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it, it was. It was. It was very difficult. It's. I've heard that it's very difficult to work with that data because of just how fucking much there was to parse. Um, but I did. I was able. To, I was able to verify that the information was real. We've obviously since then already verified now that yes, the information is accurate. Uh, some people are saying that it's not, but. I mean, I match it to the penny to mine, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that's probably pretty accurate. Had a couple other people I showed, and they also said that, yeah, it's about right. It's about right. It's, it's pretty close. Within a couple of dollars or something like that, which could be a cutoff from like a month pay, like a monthly payout cutoff to like an actual calendar day, calendar day uh, cutoff or something. Um, <clears throat> to be fair, Bob Ross can't min-max his Zerg hordes. <laughs> so... Three years of details regarding, uh, two years, uh, details regarding creator payouts on Twitch. Um, the entirety of Twitch TV, uh, their internal security tools, uh, just, just an absolute insane amount of, of data. So, uh, streamers, pretty much like, you know, or partners rather, uh, pretty much, um, owned it, you know, as, as I think as we do pretty much like, uh, Whatever was it make when life gives you lemons, make grenades or whatever. That was uh, that's pretty much what people did. And so the new meta, the new meta for uh, for Twitch became put your number in front of your in front of your your stream title. And so when you go when you go when you went to uh, to just chatting for example, this is a screenshot from uh, uh, the day of the leak. You saw pretty much everybody. XQC number two, uh, Hassan number thirteen, uh, our boy Lyric number ten. Amazing. Um, so, and it, even even here it says IRL number twenty three, R eight stream with number one thirty seven. <laughs> so everybody was was in on it uh, and pretty much owned it. Now that that actually became um, so so uh, uh, popular. Let me see if I can find it here. <laughs> that somebody actually made a an extension that uh, will show, and actually I'll just go to live Twitch right now, and it will show what uh, people's ranks are uh, right next to their name. So, so you can see, like this is a great way to see right off the bat live channels we think you'll like. Okay, so you're serving me three people that are in the top ten thousand, and one person that's not. Hey, there you go, it's diversity. Uh, Soda's tweet was perfect. What did what did he say? What was Soda's tweet? Uh, but yeah, all the way down, you could see people's uh, people's numbers next to the name thanks to this extension. Now it's this is not an evolving number. Okay, this is this number is. Um, Wait, that guy also made the guy that made this also made the crew link app. I thought the name looked familiar. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought the name. Yeah. Oh my god. Automat auto autom was auto automated. Uh, automated. Yeah. Oh my god. I thought that name looked familiar. I was like, where do I know this guy from? How fucking funny. Dang. What? This guy is baller. What the hell? What is Soda say? Soda says. Guys, it leaks for how much streamers make isn't real. I make way more than that. I'm not number 42. I won't believe it. I implore you not believe it either. I swear I'm one of the richest ones on the platform. I literally made Among Us. I won't believe it. Yeah. But I think probably one of the biggest takeaways for a lot of people, I mean, and even Martha said this uh, yesterday, day after yesterday, is that it was shocking to see um, how much money people didn't make, right? Um, because there's, there is, there is a bit of like glam and glitz involved with being a, being a streamer, right? You guys, I know you guys all think that I'm rich, get my Lambo and all that stuff, but no, I get yelled at for buying Starbucks every day. All right. So I don't buy it every day because I get yelled at and the coffee sometimes is not worth the getting yelled at part. I don't got a Lambo. I only got a Lambo in GTA. I'm broken Grand Theft Auto too. Jesus, to be clear in my statement, uh, automated is a mod for, um, uh, for Ludwig. Oh, well, it's available to everybody now. Yeah, no, it, it, he made it available for everybody. Boop, boop, boop. For, so for Firefox and also for, uh, for Chrome, uh, as I expected a lot more fat money makers. I didn't expect you to be in the top 10 K. It turns out most streamers ain't make shit. Thank you. But also what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't expect you to be in the top, but also nobody makes shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was, I no, I, seriously though, I was honored. I was honored to be in the top 10,000. I didn't think, I didn't think I would be there either. But then when I saw who is like, who was behind me, I was just like, what the fuck? How am I, what? <laughs> you were surprised. Everyone was surprised because I was my chain of views. I figured there was more, uh, there was more one to 10 K Andes. I know. Just, no, man. Am I getting roasted? No, I'm talking about. Uh, we all know you make those fat stacks on the photo side. Shit. I make okay stacks on the photo side, but Twitch still wins. Twitch still wins. My Dogecoin put me in the top 10K. Fuck. <sighs> We're not talking about that. I guess the partner pool is smaller. Saturation of everything else makes it seem larger. So in 2018, the number of partners was 30,000 or something like that, right? 29,000. Uh, and in 2021, earlier this year, there was a statement made that... Um, that it was closer to 59,000. So they've doubled the amount of, um, uh, the, the, the amount of partners just in the past, like three years, uh, which, you know, makes sense. There's a growing company. A lot of people are getting into it. They put the affiliate program out there, which gave people a, uh, uh you know, a path, a clear path to get to partnership. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of people and it's great that there's a lot of people because that makes 10,000 being in the top 10,000 feel better. If it was top 10,000 out of 30,000, it's like, ugh, I mean, I could be like a C plus, right? But now that it's out of 60,000, I'm more like an A minus, maybe like a B plus, right? And y'all here with me. How much of that money is Twitch Prime subs? Not a lot, actually, not a lot. I mean, a lot. But not a lot. You'd be surprised. Um, now, I didn't see how much money collectively with everybody is going to Twitch Prime. Um, but uh, for me, it's like 15, 20%, something like that, which is a lot, but also not a lot. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's like, it's not half. Half would be a lot. It's less than half, which is good, which is good. Most of my subs are in gifts. <laughs> there's a solid, I mean, there's a solid base of like monthly, but there's also like a good chunk of gifts, y'all. Bedtime Tron. So yeah, if you want to get the extension, it's right there. It's a lot of fun to have because, uh, well, I mean, you get to see where your favorite streamer ranks. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, it's just the rank. It's not the actual how much money they make, which is, you know, right? Good. Um, so yeah, basically... Twitch overall leaked done. Uh, we had uh, I follow Rachel Tabak who is a um, security. Let me see what's her name. She's a see hacker and CEO of blah 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 social engineering and hacking training, uh, pen test workshops and talks. Uh, she goes to DEF CON. She's like a DEF CON something there, and she's a board chair something something. Anyways, she has a pretty good thread. Well, she just talks about, you know, Twitch is alleged to have been hacked and leaked. Many streamers confirm personal data and the leak might be accurate. If you're a streamer and you had your payout data leak, ensure your financial services have strongest MFA available on. Uh, and threat model is now slightly, slightly elevated to more. So that's, makes sense. Go change your passwords. Make sure that you have two-factor off on things. Um, use key pass or whatever. Uh, and also with anything linked, uh, anything linked, as she says right here, she says this includes Venmo, Cash App, it's gonna be PayPal, all that stuff. Anything that's linked, because you don't know, you, we don't know what's gonna come in the second, so alleged second leak. I feel like every time there's like a major leak or something like that, like this, which doesn't happen often, uh, not to this scale, but every time there's some kind of a leak, we typically get some, we get always, they always tell us like, oh, there's more coming, right? I, I just kind of like scare them, ooh, right? But we don't really know if, more is coming. Uh, but that next batch could be, could be something pretty, you know, uh, it could be actual personal information. Imagine if, imagine a yeah, ransom opportunity, exactly. Imagine if uh, addresses for streamers were leaked. We've already seen, we've already seen a lot of crazy shit happen with people that have access to people's personal address, right? Um, who was it? Somebody, it wasn't from Twitch, uh, but it was somebody like from Red versus Blue. Somebody went out and like fired a gun off in their driveway or something and then like shot themselves or some shit like that. Was that Meg Turney's place or was that, was it Red versus Blue related or was it, 
I can't remember. Rooster Teeth? It was like, oh, it was. It was Meg Turney and Gavin. That's right, Gavin Free. Okay, so I was, I was, I was on the right track. Uh, they broke in. Did they actually break in? I can't remember if they broke in or they tried to break in, but still. Yeah, it was her stalker. So, so that's the kind of, that's the kind of crazy shit that would happen at a much larger scale should personal information be let out. Uh, Meg Turner and Gavin Free had a guy break in while they were sleeping and tried to try to kill Gavin. That's right. Is Yeah, so, I mean... That time was like a hundred, pretty much. Uh, there's a lot of good people out there who, if you got like, you know, if, if you guys knew where I live, you wouldn't necessarily come knocking on my door because you know that's weird. You know that's weird, right? Right? <laughs> but some people don't know that's weird. Some people they'll, they'll throw down a dono to their favorite streamer, and the, the streamer says, "Oh, thank you so much," and they're like, "Oh my God, we're friends." She wants me. And that's it. That's all it takes. I'm come knock and run. <laughs> and the shotgun by the door. That's right. No, you don't keep by the door. You don't keep by the door. That's, that's now. What if they're already in the house? What are you going to do? Excuse me. I got to go to the front door real quick and get something. You can't keep by the front door. You got to put under your pillow when you sleep. Be a man. <laughs> Mike that just leaks. Chat rolled up to his house with a Lambo hauling a yacht. Just leave it there for a day. Is that what happens? <laughs> Twitch would definitely be done if addresses were leaked. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Twitch would be uh, in a load of shit. Uh, I, you know, I don't even know. I don't even think they would really be in that much shit uh, here in the States. Here in the States, socially, they would be in a load of shit. I would think it would be, uh, what is it, um, the, the, the GDPR, right? The, 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 the European, like, privacy, like, super hella strict privacy thing that they, you guys have over there um where like they have to yeah they'd yeah they'd be fucked in the eu absolutely uh so that's that's where they would be really screwed here in the states they would just ah uh, here you go bezos would be like hey man hey you know congressman do you want to do you want to go to space <laughs> and then it would be like ah oh, they did nothing wrong they did nothing wrong um We'll take the Lambo and the yacht away. That reserved for the, <laughs> the top 1,000. Uh, the users signed their, li their rights away. Yeah, the EU is pretty lax as long as you inform your customers about the leak. Yep. So, um... <sighs> so, funny enough, like, the day, the day of the leak, we went, we went digging and we found there was a senior security engineer job uh full time full time so if you're looking for uh if you're looking to work at twitch they could really use some right about now uh, <laughs> this is the day of the leak the day of the leak <laughs> so twitch <laughs> Even GDPR uh, really only applies to international malpractice. An actual hacker in uh, intrusion doesn't carry much of any legal ramifications for websites or services in most jurisdictions. Although, although I wonder though, like how much of, how much of the blame would be on Twitch because of how they store this information or how they make it accessible? Um, I'll tell you, like I saw I saw the tree, the directory tree for for the leak, and it was extensive. Like, it was really fucking extensive. It was a lot. Like, there's, there's a lot of information in there. So, Twitch uh, Twitch took to Twitter, uh, and some of you guys may have got notifications, but they, they came out and they said that uh, they're going to be resetting uh, out of abundance of caution. We've reset all stream keys. So, stream keys are special, like, 32-digit numbers or something uh, that you can plug into an app. Or you could give to somebody to plug into an app if they're going to stream on your channel or if you want to stream on their channel without necessarily logging in to your Twitch account. Now, a lot of us who stream probably just log into Twitch through OBS or XSplit or Slobs. You won't be affected by this. But if you use a stream a stream key, then then you're going to have to, uh, uh, next time you go streaming, you have to go and, uh, uh, and, and change it. Uh, that was uh, that was bad timing for some. S-Fan uh, did his first uh live casting of uh, of like an nfl game or something i think um and he went to go do it and he couldn't go <laughs> so he's like hey twitch changed something uh because so they had to go back it was super hype hope we get a fix tonight i'll tweet again for works he did end up getting back on but uh uh geo thank you so much uh but yeah bad timing for some folks so 
the leak happened. We did our own count uh, in terms of like, because there's lots of data there. And, and you know, because that data is out there, um, that's, that's a lot of, like, that data is invaluable to a lot of people, right? Let's, let's go with like the IRS, right? Wouldn't it be nice if, if you were an IRS agent and you were just like, oh, look at this. Here's how much money they make. <laughs> Here's how much money all the, let's check to see what, what's they're reporting. Um, now, Twitch will report every single penny, every single penny that they pay out. Because every penny they pay out means less taxes for them. So if you're not reporting your Twitch earnings to the IRS, you're destined to get boned, right? Especially if you're one of those guys in the top, you know, 7,776, right? You in trouble, you in big trouble. So we're going through the data and, you know, we wanted to see um, what... You know, what what the what the makeup of the top what was it like we went like top like 20 or something like that right um what the top 20 was and so we went through and i, I started counting i started counting how many how many males versus versus females for presenting um there were on this list and uh because i knew i knew first i was like i was like oh let's look up let's look up white males right look at cis white males but then lyric was there and i was like oh man brown can't do that shit all right we'll try we'll just try males it's fine <laughs> <laughs> and so I went, we went and we counted because I, I was like, I know, I know that someone's going to pick this up. Someone's going to pick this up and make an article out of it because the data is available. And even for someone on 4chan was like, can't wait to see how long Polygon would turn this into a wage gap thing. And they were close. They were close. In this case, it was Kotaku. Only 3% of Twitch's top earning streamers are women, apparently. It says, according to a purported, purported data from the just revealed Twitch hack, women in hot tubs aren't stealing all the views. So that was, that was the big discussion for Kotaku, Kotakuites or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Kotaku. <laughs> uh, but that was a discussion that we had as well, right? It was like, why, why is that? So we know that, uh, and I won't go into this into too much detail, but we know that we have, we know some demographics that are available to us. And we can see that um, down here, the gender ratio here shows that 65% uh, are male and 35% are, are female. Uh, and it says in 2017, it was 81% versus 18%. So it's changed dramatically, dramatically in the handful of years. And this is just those two years. Um, and so... It could have, I mean, that was 2019 that we got those other numbers. So we could, this could also be, again, maybe skewing even more. Now it's not going to, it's not going to grow at the same linear rate. You know, there's got to, you're going to reach a, a plateau and then you're going to, you got to break through some more barriers to go up again kind of thing. Right. Um, and so maybe we're sitting at like 60, 40 right now. So that's like total representation, not necessarily representation of streamers themselves. We know that by and large is probably more. Uh, male versus female uh, streamers on the platform. Um, there's a, there's like average age here too. It shows that, you know, 41% are 60 to 24 year olds, 25 to 34, 32%, and then 35 to 44, 17%. And then Mad Martha and up 7%. So it's, it's, uh, how many 7% bracket? Oh, you already, you already beat me to the joke. So we know we know that there's we know that there's already a gender uh, a gender gap uh, on Twitch. We know that it's 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 a it's a, the the, dis the discrepancy between the uh, uh, the viewership and total user number and ratio versus the successful uh, uh, viewer uh, successful streamer ratio uh, is huge, right? It's like it's what he says it's like top th like three percent or whatever. Uh, it's like basically. 20 to 1 or something like that versus a you know 60 40 split on the viewer side um in terms of because kotaku had to bring it up the bath the, the bathtub thing uh not a bathtub the hot tub uh meta uh we know that this data only shows 
what people have earned from subs, like actual subs, uh, prime subs, uh, bits were included in that. Does not show, uh, it doesn't show PayPal payouts, uh, obviously, uh, and it doesn't show uh, OnlyFans earnings. <laughs> no, but it doesn't show earnings outside of the Twitch platform. Uh, and we, deep down, we know that probably a good amount of some of the hot tub meta participants streamers earnings probably did not come from bits and subs and all that successful yes right probably making pretty good uh but the bulk of the earnings mm, probably not so there's definitely going to be some lopsidedness there because we just as we discussed the other day um we don't know, and the data is here now, so we can at least try to get some of it, uh, some of the data sussed out. But we really don't know how much uh, a top male earner on the platform versus a top female earner on the platform makes in terms of like where their revenue sources come from, right? All we know is that in general, males make more through the platform not necessarily off yeah and also no sponsorships that's right um i don't see kotaku county listing only fans male female no definitely not uh but they have they I mean come on, they have to get it out there well mike is saying that we now need to get paypal's payment data get on it 4chan <laughs> that's right we need we need we need to know we got to compare the numbers man we got to compare the numbers <laughs> so oh man so yeah, we have the extension. Uh, also, LSF, all LSF also has a bot. I'll just show that real quick. They have a bot so that uh, or a script for their for their bot. Whenever somebody posts a number, like any number, like in this case, thirteen cents as regards. It is says streamer number thirteen is Hassan, and so they have a bot there that will automatically reply with uh, uh, with the uh, uh, the actual number of that streamer. So it's it's basically everywhere, um, and we also had our first we also had our first um, exploit happen. I mean, what happens when your entire website gets leaked? Like the entire all the .tv part, um, people start to exploit it, and so we could see uh, here. This is Grand Theft Auto's uh, GTA 5's um, uh, directory listing on Twitch. And the background image, you could kind of see it was uh, was removed was not removed was um uh uh, uh <laughs> damn it that's not updated uh <laughs> was replaced by the Bezos Pog. Um, let me see if I could actually. I wonder if I could actually fix that real quick for you guys. Let me see. Mm, nope. Okay, we'll just pretend we see it. Okay. Uh, on the flip side, now the community can start fixing all Twitch's bugs for them. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but this is I mean, this is this is where I think probably the biggest, the longest, and biggest fallout is, uh, and I'm sure most of you guys will agree. It's not it's not how much money does Hassan make, how much money does Amaranth make, how much money does whatever make. It's it's the entire fucking website is on is now available to anyone who wants it. Every single possible exploit is being searched out by hundreds of people at least at least i mean it's worldwide it could be in the thousands right but i'll just say hundreds of people whereas at twitch i seriously doubt they have hundreds of people dedicated purely to going through and trying to find exploits so now it's a race this probably our first glimpse into what kind of exploits are possible because uh, of the entire Git being available. Because Twitch is open source now, basically. Um, how much money does Amazon make? YouTube suddenly has designs for, yeah, new designs for live streams, exactly. I just don't get how male, female are earning comparisons matter in something like Twitch. It's not like it's an employer or say something like a movie company is paying them, it's, view it's viewers. Uh, so it, it starts with how much money are they making, right? And then it's like, are they being represented enough? And I wanna make sure we, we mention that too. Are they being represented enough? If we, go to, if we go to the website, like right now, it's probably, I, mean, I don't know actually, let's go see, let's go see. I don't wanna make a guess because I have no idea. Uh, let's, we could go through and see like who is in the, um, 
um, recommended. Well, actually, this is going to be my recommended. So it's not even going to be, oh, hey, look, there's, there's a young lady right there. Uh, Joe plays violin. And also a number of other instruments, apparently. Oh, my God. She's got a whole lot of shit in there. She's got an accordion back here. What the hell? She's got a coffee maker. It's crazy. Um, but it's about representation, too. It's like, how many? God, whoa. What the? F what does this guy got? Hold on. Hold on. Is he? That's his actual cat. He's petting his cat in real time. Son, did you see that? This guy's amazing. Wow. But I'm sorry, dude. We're looking. We're looking for. We're looking for ladies. We're looking, here we go. Here's somebody else. Here's somebody else plays violin. Okay. Apparently, this is all catered to me. So we're not gonna get good results here. Request Toto Africa. <laughs> so that part at least is not is not personalized. No, I think this is personalized. I think the carousel is personalized because everything I've getting. So it's all keyboard stuff. It's all music stuff. Music. Okay, except for this. Then we found one that's not. Found it's not. Um, but yeah, basically all music stuff. So this this is catered to me. This is catered to me. But again, going back to, is there proper representation via Twitch? Like, is Twitch promoting? Um, it's a bunch of music for me, but different than what you got. Oh, interesting. Try it incognito. Ah, man, I didn't want to do that, but okay, fine. Uh, na, 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 na. We got a, we got a, a, a no reset speed run. Uh, we have, oh, she's singing. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, you're right. You're right. It is. It is a bunch. Stardew Valley. Um, wow, man, it's, it's all, it's all ladies. What the heck? Look at that. Look at that. So why are they not in the top? I mean, there's there's a number of reasons why that could be, and I have no idea what the answer is, honestly. I think it's way more nuanced in terms of, like, demographics and users' needs and what people are looking for in content and, and how the streamers represent themselves and how they're promoted. And honestly, I don't think I could come up with, I'll come up with an off-the-cuff answer as to why. Why that is. Why that is. Is it because people don't want to... But people aren't interested in in watching certain types of streamers? And one of those types... Happens to be women? I have no fucking idea. It could be. Sounds like it might be. But the right answer might be a little more nuanced than I think any of us are capable of giving. Let's ask Incogni. <laughs> Still was a good answer. <laughs> Twitch to me equals gaming. I go there to see games I'd be interested in. It's got, that's how I got to know you. Oh, well, good. Yeah, well, Twitch Twitch has evolved, right? Like, we know that. Like, Twitch has evolved. It used, it, it used to be... Uh, it used to be really creepy like big brother type webcams on people like with life cams or whatever and they would just be walking around their house just doing stuff so that was weird that was the that was the you know the ye olden days okay uh declan made an adjustment to this hat it does not fit me right now um <laughs> the streamer house day that's right yeah uh and obviously when it evolved to twitch it became mostly game stuff uh and then once it evolved past that uh, irl was added just chattings were added music stuff's added uh and so they're trying to diversify at its core twitch is still a gaming platform absolutely uh but now uh, we now we watch girls sleep in their beds. Not creepy at all. Yeah, there's a couple of those. It's pretty weird. I thought that was against the rules, but whatever. Uh, my blame is big head on his son. <laughs> no, I, I his his big head is is, is my fault actually. Um, so during all of this, during all of this mess, Destiny somehow managed to get banned again. Um. Now, it didn't show up in streamer bands, which I think is kind of weird. Kind of weird it didn't show up in streamer bands. I don't know why. Um, but he went through, and I saw a clip of when he was discussing the thing that he was talking about. Uh, and, um, oh, he's not a partner. That's why. Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> uh, so, apparently, he, 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 showed, um, he showed somebody's work email at Twitch. Uh, which, as you probably know, work emails are typically first, first initial, first name, and then last name, right? Top secret stuff. Top secret shit. 
<laughs> so Destiny was banned. Um, I think probably one of the best takes on this. Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> had the wrong thing up. Probably one of the best takes on this uh, was uh, was this. Says the entirety of Twitch gets hacked and the personal data of every user at, is at risk of getting leaked. I sleep. And streamer number 672 mentions the generic corporate email address of some random employee. Real shit! <laughs> and it's true! Like he, <laughs> So he's out for, I don't know how long. Uh, who knows how long. But of course, I feel like nothing, nothing, nothing big can happen at Twitch without Destiny taking a hit. Like, it's just, it's like there's somebody there that really doesn't like Destiny. And so whenever something happens, they're just like, Oh, I can fucking ban Destiny. So fucking, what is he doing right now? <laughs> His ass gets it. Uh, they're probably uh, hunting for a reason to fire him again since someone was chatting with Robert Epsler. So yeah, see, there you go. There you go. See? Uh, should we change our credit cards and shit? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's been banned countless times. Uh, also, also in the mix, of course, our other favorites, just constantly banned streamer. Amaranth was banned. And that was actually this morning or this afternoon. That just happened. <laughs> Amazing that Dr. Disrespect's team got his hack done so soon. That's right. So she's banned for the fifth time. Uh, we don't know why. We have no idea why. It could be anything, honestly. Um, but we know that she's banned, and uh, you know she may she may not ever come back because this time, this time it's on everything. She's banned on everything but Twitter and OnlyFans, of course. So she's banned on Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok, and all of that happened apparently today. Um, so it says just after 3 p.m. today, uh, yeah, blah, 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 said that she was, she was dead. So she's sorry, unless you have time machines unavailable. So yes, we know that that part is, uh, is, is gone. So her main Instagram account with millions of followers also has been deactivated. But her Instagram alt account, Amaranth2, has not been removed. Her official TikTok account to be, appears to be banned as well. Now, it's not, it's not unusual for somebody, uh, Someone like somebody who does the type type of uh, 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 provides the types of services that Amaranth provides uh, to not last long on TikTok. TikTok is actually really strict when it comes to content that might be exploitative or uh, or uh, not necessarily um, family friendly. Uh, so I've seen it. I, I mean, I, I obviously I follow a lot of models on Instagram. Um, because I'm a scientist and I see them just, they just go right through, they go right through TikTok accounts over and over and over again. No problem. Um, so no idea what, what caused her to be banned on everything. It could be, it could be like chance. And I would believe that if it was TikTok and anything else, but it's TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch, three different, three completely different unrelated platforms that she's banned on. And so she, she says, and she's taking it like a champ. She says, uh, ban everywhere. I can't scroll down because you can see some of her thigh and we can't do that. I'm, can I show her face? Fuck. I don't even have to show her face. God damn it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm gonna, let me see. I don't know how to do this. Let me blur. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. All right. Shit. There. Ah, did that work? Fuck. It's gone. Anyways. There. <laughs> so she says, ban everywhere. Oh, God, now the icon. Son of a bitch. So she's banned everywhere. She's taking it like a champ. No idea she's coming back. This is her fifth ban on Twitch. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know why she got banned. Um, I mean, you know, this was her last night. So maybe she did something wrong. Maybe there's something wrong with this. I don't see what's wrong with this, but maybe. But maybe to be banned on all of those places at once sounds like a group of people work together, mass reporter everywhere at once. That's exactly what it sounds like. No, it does. It really. I bet a lot of platforms at the same time. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of platforms at the same time. Uh, but she hasn't said anything, and maybe she's just taking it as, um, you know, she's like, ah, eh, just another day. Must be Friday. 
We'll be back on Monday. Uh, does Twitch have a max band count before it's permanent? No. No, no. <laughs> we, we thought. We thought maybe. But uh, uh, how many chances do these platforms give people? That's amazing to me. Well, TikTok is permanent. Instagram is permanent. Uh, well, okay. TikTok is it, it when once they permit ban somebody or they ban somebody like that's pretty much it. Uh, Instagram will shadow ban you first, and then they'll uh, they'll threaten they'll threaten your account. They'll say uh, you've been posting too much uh, you know illicit content. So we if you keep doing it, we're gonna ban you. They'll send you warnings. Um, to have your account outright banned, it as somebody else said, that's the stuff that's typically reserved for people who are out, either outright. Um, promoting a service off-site that is not within the terms of agreement, right? Uh, whatever that service is, okay? It could be OnlyFans. It could be escort services. It could be fucking drugs. Uh, it could be all kinds of shit. Uh, or people who are peddling, like, you know, vaccine misinformation or something like that, uh, which I don't, I don't think, I don't think Amaranth is, is like that. You know, we, we may, we may, we may levy a lot of criticism, criticism to Amaranth for like some of the buttons she tries to push and some of the lines she tries to skirt. But the, I don't think that, she, I don't think even for a second that she's an anti-vaxxer or anything like that and, and actively and willfully spreading uh, misinformation. I don't think that's the case. I think that she probably got busted because she was probably promoting her OnlyFans or something like that. Um, see, uh, bans are more like fines for Twitch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, D DDoS attack targeted on Amaranth. Did she did she quote Trump or something? I know it doesn't take much on some platforms. Uh, use the platform to promote other platforms, pretty much, or COVID shit. Yep. So no idea what the actual reason is, and you know honestly we probably will never, we'll probably will never find out. Um, but she is still partnered though, isn't she? Like highly educated in finance or something. In general, I would say Amaranth is pretty fucking smart. Look at how much money she's made out the platform. How many, how many rules she's bent. How many new, how many new rules she's helped create, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. <laughs> I would say she's a savvy businesswoman at the very least. <laughs> Literally, Olivia Munn from uh, from Newsroom. Oh my God, uh, she creates the metas. That's true. Yeah, she's a she's a she's a meta creator. That's for sure. Uh, I mean, I have not seen, I, I have not seen anybody else have a fucking <laughs> with two, with two microphones like that. <laughs> That's not anything I've ever seen. That's totally new to me. Trendsetter. All these other ASMR streamers are like, fuck, now I got to get like a fucking a whole, like a <laughs> five or six of these things now. Uh, after my third COVID shot, I'm almost an anti-vaxxer. There you go. Boundary pusher. That's right. 3D ASMR. 3D ASMR. So, so Twitch has also been busy in other areas. Yes, there was the leak. Yes, that's still ongoing. Uh, Twitch says that they know that some data has been leaked, uh, which to which uh, people on Twitter corrected them and said, oh, no, no, no. You mean all. <laughs> all the data has been leaked. Um, so we know that they have at least acknowledged it. Uh, we have not seen anything today. I'll double check real quick to see if there's anything new today, but I, I checked before the stream. Uh, I didn't see anything. And it looks like that is still the case. So uh, the last communication we got was that the out of abundance of caution, we're going to be resetting uh, resetting keys. So that's the last thing that we that we got from them. Oh, don't what you do? Look at don't what you do? Um, lock preview. There we go. Okay, sorry. Um, Second language ASMR. Oh man, yeah. There we go. Um, give me someone from from Jersey. <laughs> Second language. Uh, so Twitch has also been experimenting a little bit. Um, there's a couple of things they're putting out. I have links to, but uh, they're gonna have emote uh, metrics, which is something we used to th used to use a, a third party site to track. Um, that's a huge thing for a lot of us because we want to know what, when, or where, or how often our emotes are being used. They're also testing, going to be testing uh, this service that allows um, allows viewers to boost using money to boost their favorite uh, their favorite streamer. Uh, where to boost them to be represented on, like let's say the front page. Right um, now, there's no details uh, for them. Wow, we have a lot. Of, we have a lot. We have went through a lot already. Uh, there's no, there's no details for this. Uh, not too many details, other than the fact that it's something they're testing. Um, 
and they're talking about it. Is that so ain't going to happen? Uh, Twitch become, becoming even more pay to win. So uh, DJ We did pull in uh, one of the product product managers or something, somebody who's working on this on this feature. Um, and they discussed, you know, why? Why are they doing this? And the response that we got was very... Uh, now this is def uh, like a paid boost experiment. So why paid, right? Why wouldn't this just stay free forever? Yeah, definitely. Um, so what we're doing with Boost is giving viewers the ability to buy super high visibility promotions for their favorite creators. And these types of placements come with a cost. We think this is a great way to show support. Further, we've heard directly from creators that it's hard to get their names out there. It's hard to try and utilize different forms of social media to grow their channels. And our hope is that a more direct way for a viewer to help creator to help a creator do that. And this is just an experiment, so it's going to change. It's no secret that viewers are here to support their creators, and we think that paying to help a creator grow their community will be worthwhile for their supporters. Uh, now, all right. So I understand it was probably hard to actively listen to that, but <laughs> what he's saying is exactly what we expected is that they are allow want to allow uh people to pay to boost their favorite streamers um but what if big streamers abuse it i know so as somebody who worked at a site that had a very similar system that the creators on that site would uh pay themselves to get themselves featured amongst some of the other listings um this is something that takes a lot a lot of math, a lot of testing, a lot of tweaking. Um, and, and yeah, like Red says, it's like, or like Red Morrissey says, it's like that it's, it, there's a lot of opportunity for exploitation. Um, you have to create some kind of way to prevent somebody who, who is already making a lot, uh, already has a lot of clout from just basically chilling at the top. Um, you also have to give some kind of weight to people who don't have a lot of clout, right? Um, but maybe they do have some streamers or some viewers who want to throw in some money, but they need to have a number, like a metric or something that, that, uh, gives them some kind of weight. Otherwise they're never going to hit that number. So it can't be, it, ca it can't be a, uh, a, a flat pay system that's just how we see it we see it as a flat pay system which makes it seem like you're just paying and anybody the biggest streamer is going to stay at the top but i'm certain i hope that they approach this thinking about the smaller streamers and how to get them elevated to the front page now what they really should do it's focus on discoverability and ways to make it so that they can organically be seen. But the problem with relying on an organic system is that you can't, you can't pay out a bonus to an executive using word of mouth exposure, right? You can't, you can't pay these guys in exposure. So you have to come up with a way to monetize it. And that's where we're at with this. So there's a lot of people, obviously, <laughs> basically all Twitter, uh, paying exposures, bullshit, what? <laughs> so there's, a, there's obviously the greater majority of us think this is overall a bad idea. I think it was poorly presented. I think that they probably should focus on discoverability first. Um, but... They are a business. They don't really care about, you know, us. The, some of the employees do, like DJ Wheat. I know DJ Wheat cares about people, like cares about streamers. He cares, he's passionate about it, right? But he's not making the business decisions for the entire company. The ones that are, you know, see an opportunity to make more money. Um, 
They need to eliminate pre-stream ads if they want discoverability return once they are forced to have gone to one new stream 30 seconds too long to wait for a stream. Yeah, exactly. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah, you go to a stream and then uh, essentially did they just put in practice the same method that companies do for Super Bowl ads and primetime spots? I don't know exactly how that system works, but I mean, kind of. We think. We don't know. Uh, but they did have a system that um, uh, 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 you could promote your, your channel or something like that. Well, that was a while ago. I don't know if they do that anymore. But yeah, pre-roll ads are pretty painful. Yeah, I mean, especially when you... Yeah, and raids as well. Uh, they need to have a better system for that. But the problem is a better system means less ads because right now, they're getting maximum ad exposure whenever we raid somebody, for example, right? Because now all those people are going to see ads. They So they, they'll encourage raiding because then they could cash in on, a, on, a, on an extra... Uh, a, a set of ad revenue uh, whenever some, whenever people leave one one person's stream to go to another. Um, I see also big streams rely on donations and having a service like that could affect their donations as a viewer could go, let me save some money for my streaming. Still encourage people to use ad blockers that work around the pre-stream ads. I never got a cent for those and just annoy my viewers. Uh, every new feature Twitch introduces is squeezing regular folk for money and gamifying it. Yeah. So we don't know we don't know what the status is on this in terms of like uh, when they plan on actually uh, implementing it or, or when they plan on actually testing it. I haven't heard of anybody um, uh, actually like testing it right now. But um, uh, you don't get ads after uh, after rating. Oh, you don't. You don't really. I've heard that some do, but yeah. Um, but like I said, this 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 type of system, this type of ranking system, takes a lot of work and. I can't imagine that they just said, let's just let the whales pay for it, right? I can't imagine that's that's the only line of thought. There has to be a metric in there to help people who are lower so that way they can have a chance. So somebody who gets 10 viewers a stream can have somebody come in and drop a hundo and they could probably get featured. But somebody goes into somebody with 30,000 people and drops a hundo and it doesn't mean anywhere near as much i know i'm giving too much credit to some folks but like i said like this is a, this is a system that if they don't flesh it out correctly uh it's gonna it's gonna fail miserably um i want it to fail because i want them just to give us a good organic discoverability but there's only so much real estate on the front page however However, as we just proved, has proven, uh, I went to the front page while logged in, and then I went in incognito, and I saw basically the same people in the carousel. So we know that they're not trying that hard if the carousel is still this fixed list of people. There's the there's the recommended for you section underneath, but um, that still doesn't stop a second stream from advertising a, a, a big stream. Yeah, I'm just turning off notifications. Uh, there is no scale between big, small streamers. Then it will just continue as normal as now. Yep, pretty much some people will get boosted in the same spot as they are right now. I think I was streaming with a lot of viewers, boost another streamer. That'd be okay. Uh, if there was some kind of way, yeah. Remember remember when Destiny first launched and there were all these people that got together on uh, on on um, like the Destiny, one of the Destiny subreddits. Um, the game, by the way. <laughs> I know we were just talking about Destiny, but... Um, People who are like, yeah, I will walk people through some of these new strikes. And some of these new strikes were like raids, right? Or like like uh, like dungeons or whatever. Um, that was a that was a wonderful organic community based thing. And Twitch only really has raids. They they the team thing is basically gone. Um, there's just no real good way to promote. And I think aren't wait I also read somewhere. Uh, and I had it in the news, but I didn't. I didn't follow through with uh, with that. Um, that uh, auto uh, auto hosting was also going to be going away, or at least it has gone away, or something like that. And I don't know if that's true because I've not looked into it. But uh, somebody who I trust just mentioned that, and so um, I'd imagine it's probably something similar, something in those veins, along those lines, uh, is or has happened. Um, so, anyways, uh, it looks like the the YouTube main cursed page well speaking of youtube moon walking thank you so much for that transition speaking of youtube youtube rewind is done and it's all because of that mark ass brownlee <laughs> only people who watched last year will get that <laughs> so the, who, what am i gonna bitch about this year 
What am I gonna bitch? I was looking forward to this. <laughs> uh, our annual cringe together. That's right. There was a rewind. Was there? Was no. There was no rewind. Wait, was there a rewind last year? I don't think so. But it was the year before. I don't know. But they have said that on the tenth anniversary, they're going to rely on. It says it'll continue to be inspiring to see the myriad of ways the most creative content producers are uh, in the world. Our YouTube creators encapsulate the end of the year, uh, end of year in their video recaps as YouTube retires its own rewind video. So yes, Mr. Beast did an unofficial one. What ended up happening was. The creators ended up making better uh, rewinds than YouTube did. Um, now, to be fair, <laughs> nothing YouTube could have done would have would have made everybody happy. It would have either been, "Oh my God, why is it a bunch of celebrities?" or "Who the fuck are these guys?" There's no middle. There's no middle ground. So I think, I think it was smart of them to just retire it. Just put it away. They're not going to, this is not a fight they're going to win. Ever. Maybe Jack Black will do a rewind. Maybe they, yeah, maybe they need a reward, sh a reward show. And they'll bring on, they'll bring on, yeah, Jack Black, you can host it. That's what they should do. YouTube awards. Do they already have that? I don't know. Add to the killed by Google page. Jack Black and Donkey. Oh man. Or make it like a two to five year thing, not annual. Nah. You want to see Mike's rewind? Oh boy. <laughs> We've had an interesting year so far. I can't believe it's already October. The fuck? <sighs> Award show? I thought they were dying a death already. Well, actually, the video game awards uh, with Jeff Keighley uh, is coming up on the like 8th of December or something. Um, that one I'm actually excited for. I feel like I feel like the video game awards show we gave him shit because initially because it was like it's an awards show. Shut up, Jeff. Fuck it, Jeff with his Mountain Dew and 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 Doritos. <laughs> but frankly, I think he's come a long way in really really making the video game awards probably the best awards show. Um, I mean, there's also not a lot of like competition, but I mean, I think past you know past couple times have been pretty good um <laughs> i don't remember that sir uh when they were on spike tv it was pretty bad yeah mountain doritos vga is reality tv for game developers and gamers there's a pretty good moment that have happened in vgas for sure tats will it rewind so jeff and his bad skin and hd camera oh is you for tv back yet no not yet but you know it is back People linking classified tank specifications to win arguments on the World of Tanks forums. That's right. Sorry, War Thunder forums. That's right. Again. Boy, we just can't stop. <laughs> so, it says a French army cr uh, army tank crewman has leaked a portion of the Leclerc uh, main battle tanks classified manual on the forum for a popular on game online game War Thunder. The second time a leak of tank specifications have happened. <laughs> Sorry, you know it, it, it's it's um. It's funny because, you know, when I was in, I had access to, you know, top secret information, right? And it was like, it was like information on shit that was like, oh my God, like, like really? Like this, th this tech is like 40 years old and it's a secret. It's not a fucking secret. Um, and so I'd imagine with that mindset that I had, somebody else is like getting into an argument on the forums and they're just like and then they're just this is no no all the clerics have 40 degrees per second rotation speed says so in both docs i posted and yes it's been reported it says it took blank seconds for the turret to make complete turns so blank 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 is indeed correct not 40 degrees so they had to censor out they had to censor the actual numbers because that's that's the classified info um weak points on a tank uh, i could publish some top secret spec for stuff you wouldn't believe yeah <laughs> Just constant secret, secret, secret document. <laughs> oh man! Reminds me when the armored devs got arrested. Oh, that's right. We got arrested for military espionage for trying to research military stuff in Europe. 
Oh, the complete opposite. We are so nerdy about video game realism that you leak actual military secrets. It's top, it's top secret. <laughs> Take a document. You don't read. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's a regular thing now. It's like what, a biannual thing now, I guess, because the last one was earlier this year. What was the last one? Let me see. Uh, the last one was... Challenger 2 Commander, July 16th, 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Classified Challenger Tank Spikes leaked online for a video game. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, and, and, oh, wow, we're actually at the end. Whoa, that was, was that a fast news? No, uh, that was about on par. I remember this is the only Twitch streamer who got banned on Instagram today. Ooh, oh, oh, you know, I want to talk about that one too. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Actually, thank you. White spirit. <laughs> it sounds bad when I say it like that, huh? So Squid Squid Gaming, uh, who is a member of Yogg's Cast, had her Instagram account uh, deleted uh, or reported and deleted for... It says, uh, so many people have been trying to log into my account and reporting it because it's Squid Game, just like the popular... Netflix series uh, and Instagram banned her because of this. <laughs> Not related whatsoever to anything happening at Twitch purely because her name is Squid Game. And she says that I've applied for it to be reviewed and had to wait 24 hours for the decision. So where is my article about Squid Game ruining my life? I will take big checks for this. <laughs> Let's ban the victim. It's easy. They just ban the victim and they just like move on. They'll forget about it one day or they'll ban it and they'll give it to act to the show, which actually that would, that would be, that would be newsworthy actually. Wow. That'd be pretty newsworthy. If they had, if they do that, I don't want her to lose her account or anything like that, but man, that'd be some juicy news. You know, it's some juicy news. So lastly, lastly, we've got some sad news. Ah, Listen up. This could be the last time, the last time we celebrate this together. But here it is. Randy. 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 <sighs> One more time. Randy. Randy Pitchford of Gearbox is stepping down, kind of. F's in the chat for Randy. Let's see him. Randy. Randy. Is going to be stepping down or moving aside more or less. Not working on the game, the game side of things, specifically Borderlands. It says Gearbox Entertainment co-founder Randy Pitchford will still, will still serve as CEO uh, and president of the Gearbox parent company and shift his focus towards film and TV as the president of the newly formed Gearbox Studios. So he's going to be taking over the, the TV side. And you know what a showman Randy is. He is, oh man, he's probably looking at this thinking, oh man, by this time next year, I'm going to have my own magic show. You know, he is waiting. He's biding his time. He's setting it up. Randy's magic hour. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Watch, watch how I make this USB drive full of questionable porn disappear. <laughs> <laughs> so Randy is going to be stepping aside uh, to, to lead up the, uh, the the new organization that's going to be in charge of TV series. We know that there's a Borderlands uh, uh, show or something, a live action or some shit uh, that they're working on. And, you know, and he's going to be in charge of that. And I think, uh, uh, is that is that a good move? Well, uh, I think, or a good move. Um, maybe? I mean, right? Like, the gearbox game side in terms of like borderlands like he's already done that he's already done that for since the beginning this is a new opportunity for him to take all that knowledge 
that he's had he has of the platform of the game and bring that into uh any kind of any any ip based thing that he's already privy to so this to me makes more sense than just putting any you know hired studio head um at at the top of this uh, top of this new n- new program this new studio um this is somebody who's familiar with the product i know we like the i know uh, boy i know we like to bash on the boy, my boy randy but this is smart this is smart put the guy in charge that knows the product uh the gearbox e3 presentation was pretty much a, a, a randy vlog <laughs> what if we swap the borderlands movie cast and the mario movie cast whoa Somebody already said Jack Black is claptrap. Live action with CGI and the cell shading. Ooh. It's gonna be it would it look kind of like uh Scanner Darkly or something like that? I imagine it probably does, right? Um that would look kind of cool, I think. Yeah. But uh yeah, good for him. Good for him, right? Uh I I'll I'll see if I could find I mean maybe I'll find some uh some like m- you know movie movie vloggers or something like that and see if they want to borrow my Yay! You know, just to kind of just to keep the keep the dream alive, because we may we may never hear about them until they release a Borderlands movie. Then I could Randy. dust off the old Randy. and bring it back, so we could talk about it. But that's it for today and for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I saw that Koisha Sugiyama uh, passed away. Dragon Quest composer. I, man, some of those original Dragon Warrior songs still stuck in my head. I'm assuming sure, sure it's the same guy um, that wrote those ones too. But anyways, chat, say goodbye to YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Chat, hang out for a second. I got to finish this beer. Love you, love you, love you. Don't punch your butt. Like that. Make my wife jealous. Hang out.